من حال مهن I was born the 21st day of March, 1913. And just a few days from now, a few months from now, I hope to be 100. I got around in my life. I, I, I lived away from Fedville for six years during World War II. I was working at Cherry Point Marine Air Station. Every day on that job was a payday for somebody. And there'd be thousands of men lined up waiting to get their checks and move out. And uh, if you bump up against a white man, that was a fight. If I bump up against a, if they bump up against a black man, that was a fight. We worked, we worked every day side by side, but there comes a time when we couldn't mix at all. There's a, there's a wall down there, there's an old house down there called the Holmes House. Whenever they built a courthouse in Fairly now, that was a, a, a stable, a, a literary stable where, you, where a man sold mules and cows and horses and things. And I went there here some years ago and, and some young lawyers bought that old house and moved in it and they wanted to do some work on it. And they hired me to put up to do something. I said, let's build a wall around this house. And I did that. It's six feet off the ground and it's called a pigeonhole wall. And I built that uh, from, I, I, I patterned it from another old house that I had seen. And I built it all the way around that old house. It's standing there right now. That one of the things that I really do appreciate is being my, my thing that I'll die loving. I was born singing almost. My father was a minister. And he taught us to sing, me and my, my, my other three brothers. We sang solo. I remember the, the song that he taught us to sing. Good news, the chariots are coming. I don't want to leave you behind. I went to the valley, I didn't go to stay. My soul got happy and I stayed all day. I got good religion and I died in time. And I'm on my grave all day My grandmother, my father, my mother, my aunt, and all of my people sang in the choir when I was a child. And I just loved church and I loved to hear somebody sing. get much of a feeling for myself. I guess more of a spiritual feeling now than I did when I was young. Uh, back then I just was singing because I was able to sing. I have been singing and, and you, you, you get so overjoyed until you lose your uh, uh, ability to sing and you're ready to cry. The tears will come and, and, you, and you just you can't sing for a few minutes. And, uh, and uh, It's an inside feeling. You feel like you're doing something to please God. There's always a meaning behind that. You're saying something. You're saying something. 